What's good guys and welcome to the weekly market preview here at Elementary FX. For today we'll be looking at three different pairs. We'll be looking at Canada Franc, Euro USD and USD Franc. Um, we, we're going to expect some volatility when markets open on Monday because of the French elections. Results will be out in about four hours so that's something we want to keep in mind. So let's uh, have a look at the charts. <coughs> the first thing we want to look at will be the Canada Franc and um, we actually identified a godly pattern. Uh, one of our coaches, Shabil, he identified this um, pattern in this pair. I don't actually trade this pair myself, but um, he identified it. So this is the preview of it. So we have a pattern right here, our X to A, our A to B, B to C, and our CD completion coming around here. Uh, let me just check for you where the completion is. It's around the, uh, it's around the 786. So as you can see, price has come down into that area before um, pushing down into that decompletion before making a reversal in this candle. So this is something we can look out for potentially. If price retests this area, this low right here, we can potentially look for a long opportunity. So this is the Canada front on the daily chart. The next thing we want to look at will be the Euro USD. And um, there's much, there's not much to say about the Euro USD because of of the French election so a lot of volatility can be expected from this pair um, however if we were to do some technical analysis just uh, forgetting about the, um, the elections we can use we can see that price has been in a channel if we were to draw um, the first lower low to the previous lower low sorry the first low to the last low and um, just copy and paste it we can see that it's, it's in a nice very nice parallel channel right here and now basically what we can expect is price to come around this area before um, before you know maybe it could respect the area before rejecting it and possibly look for a short entry um, if you want to combine more more analysis in this you can use a swing low to swing high of this possibly a Fibonacci extension swing low swing high back down and you can see that we have a 127 coming right around that area um, if I were to use this swing low to swing high I don't think we're gonna get much of a any levels, but we do have a one four one four around the area. I think a one four one four comes up around the top of that channel. So this is something we can look out for. If I were to use a retracement of this swing, swing high to swing low, possibly a six one eight, but uh maybe yep the six one eight is too low. A seven eight six is too high, so I don't think we we are gonna use that. So this is something that we wanna look out for. Um, I, I'm actually in a trade right here. I was trading the five minute chart and um, I was looking at this um, bullish flag right here. I actually caught this move with this candle. When I saw the breakout, I caught this move. Um, I think it moved up around 10 pips. It's on the five minute chart, so you don't expect much from it. Um, but if the analysis holds, then we could possibly see a move further up into our 127 extension of our daily chart so this is a confluence of the five minute chart and daily chart which we can potentially use but um we'll have to see how how things play out when the market reopens because of the french elections so the next thing we want to look at will be the usd franc and um <clears throat> as you can see price has been very bearish recently price has just made a strong move downwards and um there are two ways you can approach this um, we have two clear levels of the structure. We have one over here and one more below. We have a very nice area of resistance here and a very nice area of support. So as you can see, price has already come out and tested that area. However, if price manages to test it again, I would expect this level to hold and we can enter possibly a short position. Uh, this is some structure-based analysis on the USD franc. I don't see much other analysis. So let's just do a simple um, structure based analysis. The other level would be this level right here. As you can see, price came down into this area before respecting it very nicely. If we were to look left, we can see that price has also respected this area multiple times. Let me just remove the top resistance. Um, we have this area, a lot of um, rejections of this area, even, um, even here we have resistance, resistance, resistance. We also have support, support, and um, Sorry, I used the wrong one. We also have support and more support right here. So this could potentially be a decent opportunity for us to enter if price manages to come down into this position. As of now, we are about 
50 pips away so if um, we could expect this uh, this move to take place this week so if it does happen then we could potentially look for a long opportunity to the upside all right so this has been the um, this has been the weekly market preview here at elementary FX. Um, we've actually just launched the uh, a few modules for our, our advanced traders course um, if you are a member check it out it's um, it's under members area um, course material uh, we currently have the Cartley pattern video up so if you haven't checked it out do check it out guys all right thank you for joining me and i'll see you on monday for our daily market analysis